This is a bunny beetle. It looks just like a rabbit in miniature. The same soft fur, the wet nose, the ear-like antennae. Here in these Swedish forests, we've been studying the bunny beetles for the last three years. The bunny beetles are silent and shy. They spend all their time camouflaged on fallen trees. No bunny beetle ever makes a sound. Except for this one. Listen, this bunny beetle is calling for something. But for what? A rabbit has shown up, attracted by the call. Look. Why, you may ask, would an enormous rabbit be in any way interested in an insignificant insect? We know that 10 million years ago, the rabbit and the bunny beetle were the same species. But over time, they became separated. With every generation, the rabbit has got bigger and bigger, and the bunny beetle, to the right here, smaller and smaller. Actually, the rabbit is already having trouble seeing its little soulmate. And the rabbit is an easily bored animal. Here it comes, and there it goes. It even tramples on the bunny beetle. Look, pure desperation. The bunny beetle has felt the touch from the rabbit's foot, the pain, the pain. It wants more. 10 million years of separation and still no end to it. Even as night falls, the cries to the rabbit continue. Look, the bunny beetle is now stumbling at the edge of its tree. What's it doing? Is it trying to leave and find the rabbit? Its camouflage only works on this tree. When daylight comes, it will be totally exposed, an easy prey for predators. That's suicide. Ah, but it's turning back. Yes, it's gone back, at least for the time being. The new day comes, bringing a horrifying surprise. These trees seemed like a good place to settle, but in fact, they are the property of a timber company. As always, when in danger, the bunny beetle puts his trust to its camouflage. This time, it will not help. But look who's coming here. The rabbit is fast. It could rush in and pick up the bunny beetle in its soft mouth and carry it to safety. Listen, that could be the paralyzed bunny beetle's last cry. No response. Twelve hours have now passed. These warm and smoking splinters are all that are left of the trees and the bunny beetle. Literally grown apart, the huge rabbit seemed like a long lost parent to the bunny beetle. Or, dare one even say, like God. Why does God allow tragedies where the innocent are killed or suffer? That's a question not seldom asked among humans as well. The faith of the bunny beetle gives us a clue. Maybe there is an almighty God watching over us, like the rabbit over the beetles. But from the perspective of the entire universe, many things might simply be too small for God to notice.